Okay, uh, good evening. So I'm playing some more Assassin's Creed. I did a nice uh, run. I, I did my mile in 9 minutes and 40 seconds, which is pretty good. Last week I was hitting like 10 minutes and 55 seconds, 11 minutes and 20 seconds. That was a good one. I did uh I did about like like five runs last week and I did like a light jog yesterday. Um and today I yeah, I hit like nine point four minutes or nine minutes and forty seconds. And then the next two days are gonna be like fifty degrees out. So I'll try to go hard into those days as well. And then I'm just gonna relax in the twenty degree days. So yeah, I have uh, two 20 degree days and two 50 degree days back to back. So I'm looking forward to running hard the next two days. I checked my emails for any more like last minute interviews. I didn't see anything. So I'm going to play this till like dinner time. Uh, and then I'm not sure. Maybe I'll play more of it. Okay, so I'm going to continue my game. Check out the check out the area. Pretty cool, right? I feel like this is like God of War right here. Like you got the taller dude right here from the new God of War. I just ordered new Power Beats Pro, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm pretty excited. They were 40% off. They have better bass, uh, higher volume. They go over your ear. Like, the Beat Studios, they're pretty nice, but I mean, like, they work well. Um, for, like, runs and jogs, but they could be a little bit better. Like, charging, they snap right in magnetically. My right ear, I, I sometimes have to, like, put it back in after it's, like, wet. Alright, so, there's a Talos right there. I can't actually fight him yet. He's too powerful. There's no, there's no possible way I could fight him. So, let me check out my quest right now. Alright, so I'm gonna talk with the shipbuilder. The ship, the shipbuilding is very difficult as well. So I'm just going to do like the simple stuff. Uh, I'm going to go get the, the Kefalonia Spear and then the Lumbering Along. Because um, then I want to fight Talos. Like the ship is very difficult. Like you, it has nothing to do with like physical fighting ability. It's all like ship for ship. And it's it's very difficult. Like you, you get sank. You sank other, you sink other people. It's uh, like you shoot cannons at people. Um, you, like, drive the ship, like, everything. Okay, so I'm going to be getting my, uh, my spear from a cave. I need to, like, swim down it, and I'm pretty sure. Let's talk to this guy right here. You don't look so good. I you don't look everything. good. The gods. I angered the gods. Uh -oh. Time to repent. Or Neither. I Neither. Used I used to worship Hermes at the Duragiri cave. There, there are gods there. Too, you know? In the cave. In the cave. They grant wishes if you bring them tribute, so everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. No wishes of mine were granted. You know Hermes. No, wait. You know Hermes. No. I'll go hear these gods. Don't worry. 
All right, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you, be careful where you step. You'll be, walking on holy You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see you about that. Okay, so I'm going to lose some of the iron metals. I don't know exactly what they're used for. So if you press right on the D-pad, you should be able to switch between uh, the torch and the not torch, but... I'm not entirely sure like how to how to do it though. So maybe I could equip it over here. There has to be a way to do it. Like I, I was pressing right on the D-pad. I took it out before. Um maybe right in RB. I think I, I think I'm dual wielding um, swords, so it doesn't like work. Maybe swords, heavy bladed staffs, spears. I seem to have two swords equipped somehow. That's fine. I, I'll do it without the torch. I don't think you necessarily need it. I feel like the torch would make it way cooler though, right? Let me let me Google how to equip a torch in a Assassin's Creed Odyssey. One moment. I, I did it before with the, the D-pad. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. How to equip a torch. So equip a torch, press and hold the T key. It doesn't work. Yeah, it says press right arrow on the D-pad. Yeah, very odd. I'm unable to equip my torch. That's fine. So let's continue into the cave. I have to retrieve the spear. It's a really cool statue. Bronze. She says, Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them. I think I'm still locked on to the right cave, right? Yeah. Must be a different cave. I think I made that mistake before, but... That was a, a pretty cool um, statue, I guess. So tonight I'm eating uh, lamb chops, um, which should be kind of fun, I guess. Rumor says the spear is still on. It should be in a cave. Why does it seem so far away now? Why did, why did I run the wrong way? Did I? He probably told me to go to a different cave. He's like, this is not the cave. That the cave. Sunny. I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. It's a really cool um, urn right here. I really like that. So, I, I need to save, like, I need to save my people and uh, kill Talos. Because if I'm able to kill Talos and board the ship, then, um, I don't know, I can see, like, more pretty areas. Like, just look at this game. 
it's it's kind of it's going to be exciting to watch this on my TV just to see like how like my streaming capabilities. Like I, I assume it's pretty good, right? Like it looked good for Dark Souls, but sadly like 30% of my Dark Souls 3 recording uh, wasn't at maximum quality. So that brings me back to Dark Souls 1, which I found out about how to record halfway into it. Which brings me back to Bloodborne, which is PS4. You know? So it's it's like a constant struggle, but it looks good. Um, where am I going? I'm doing it, right? Yeah. Me messy. Going over here. It's always easy to find where you're going in this game. Um, I have like so many locations uh, that like I, I've been saving up and I'm super excited to go to them. I've been to a lot like a lot of cool places as well similar to this. Like I've been here before IRL. All right, so I'm going to dive into this cave. Swan dive. Nice, dude. A to swim up, B to swim down. Nice. So I found the Enigmata origin. Uh here's a bottomless lake. Kefalonia taking the plunge. Everyone on the island thinks this is the deepest dive, but there is a lake in the coast of Koladai that is rumored to be bottomless. If you are able to dive as far as the woman in the marble, you'll be able to claim me. I'm a huge fan of Horizon Zero Dawn. Just graphics in caves. Uh, it's a very pretty game, but I wasn't committed enough to appreciate it. Um... I feel like YouTube gaming with it could be fun. There should be like more treasure to loot in here. Not entirely sure. Like uh an ancient Greek warrior, um, you you have to do some swimming. You can't just expect to find uh Mykonos' spear, like immediately. Let me go let me go test out this area of the cave. Swan dive. Oh wow. Very pretty. I can't believe this game's only like ten dollars, right? Look at that. Very pretty. I don't think they'll and this is, like, they made a lot of Assassin's Creed. They did Assassin's Creed Origins in Egypt. Black Flag with the Pirates. Um, like, they, they have so many newer Assassin's Creeds. They have a new one, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is a very pretty area. I like it. I found an unidentified hand. Not sure what I can do with that. Okay. Yeah, so the cave is right here. I just have to hop in. Oh, my dinner's ready. I was just getting warmed up.
15 minutes in. Why are they making it so early? Now we're eating at 546. That's so fucking annoying. We do, we don't eat at 546. It's not how it works. No, I'm just kidding. It's not even funny. Oh, look at this dude. I I actually had a, a chair like that in my old office, and actually it was it was hanging the other way. Uh, so hammocks uh, suspended from gravity are like really good for your back um, to chill in. Like we had like hundreds of those chairs all around the office. And I would sit there with my New York Times, my Financial Times, my Wall Street Journal, and like for an hour during lunch. Because I ran shit. Like, I ran shit hard. And then at my other uh, company, I mean, at my other bank, essentially like right before I got fired, they were like, like, oh, like the one manager is like, oh, it's like a good job. Like, we're going to give you more funds since we're closing your funds down. And then all of a sudden they fired me. So, I mean, I, I mean, I automated exactly what they do. So, it's really no, no, uh, negative thoughts on my, in my opinion. Like I did a, I did a really good job. I'm not really sure where the spear could be. Show location objectives, hold down the left stick, maybe. The treasure is somewhere in here. I have to find it. Oh no. My Twitch, my Twitch disconnected. It said app update available. One second. All right, thank God, dude. Oof. I was like starting my run today and uh, I was like, Twitch is like the perfect way to just like, it's like, all right, I finished my run. It's like, okay, I'm just like sitting here. It's just, like perfect. Oh no, I have to get a call because yes, yeah, I heard. Goodbye. Yes. At least let me find the spear and then I, I could leave, please. Just please. Where's my spear at? Where is my spear? I don't know if, like, that was, like, their opinion on, like, the torch. It's like, okay, let's see if the tor like, what people think about the torch. Like, let's just, let's just have the torch be broken, and then we'll, we'll build this cave and see what people fucking do as devs. It's like, okay, let's, let's build this beautiful thing, and then we'll, we'll send you to go get killed by the overpowered dude. Like how easily can you, can you give up like on a game, like over a simple shit. It was like when Halo Master Chief Collection came out and uh, the main menu didn't load for the first, uh, for the first like two weeks, like on Xbox One. And my friends actually, they all returned uh, the game. Wow. Oh my God. No way. Yeah, so they like return, they return the game like to GameStop, and I was like, I was like, I was like, but Halo, 
Like, wow, look at the jellyfish. That's super cute, right? That's really cool. I'm a huge fan of like the Avatar jellyfish, like in theaters. I saw that in IMAX. I didn't know what IMAX was. I don't even think it was IMAX, but I saw it in 3D. And that shit was super crazy back in the day. Looks like I'm finding some more loot. Best stay out of sight. Oh wow. Got some Spartans in here. Alright, let me beat them up real quick. Get my spear. So I'm pressing RT again. Just to explain the game, just for like, I don't know, just cause, out of habit, so it's easier to find. LB and square to kick, RT to swing, LB, RB to parry. Super simple. LT to aim the bow, and then RT to, it just auto, that execution that was automatic. Okay, so I got some Drachmai. Here we go. Looks like I found the thing. I don't know why I couldn't find it before. So I found the spear at Kephalos. I know a lot of my friends, they studied Latin in high school. It's a dead language. I don't know if you could actually speak Latin or if uh, you just write Latin. And it's similar. They said it. They said it's similar to other languages. Like nobody actually speaks it, but they said like if you learn like the roots, then technically, like, it's kind of like learning other languages. I actually know someone who speaks, uh, like, four or five languages, which is pretty impressive. Alright, let me run out of here real quick. Okay. So it's gonna be a short stream. I'm gonna play it for much longer afterwards, after I eat dinner. I'll just let me go get a, a, a picture of the jellyfish, sorry. Cause I want I want the pictures to be like accurate, you know. Here we go, sorry. I almost forgot about the jellyfish. My bad. Here we go. I feel like they're prettier underwater. Are they prettier underwater or, or above water? I think above water, right? But you, you can't really tell if they're jellyfish or not. So you could switch into photo mode. So let's try out photo mode real quick. I don't know how to do photo mode. Let's see, left for main menu, options, okay, so you click in the left stick and the right stick to take a photo, so here we go, I'm gonna click in the left stick and the right stick, here's we go, photo mode, photo mode with the jellyfish, hell yeah dude. All right, so let me switch to edit mode. So you could you could obviously up the contrast here a bit or down the contrast. Let's get a little bit more. Um, let's get some saturation up in this. Um, 
No, the temperature has to be cool, right? This doesn't look right. There we go. Um, noise? I don't know what noise does. Noise looks like it makes it sharper. Vignette. Uh, vignette. Bloom. Maximum bloom. Uh, some fog. Okay. I don't know where the photos actually get, uh, where they end up. So. Oh, you could put a frame around it too. Let me remove my frames. Um, LT. Okay, so you can remove the frame just by pressing LT. And... Yeah, I'm not sure where the, the photos actually save. Um, so in case they don't save properly, I think they save on Steam. But in case they don't... Um, let me press F12. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me save. This isn't a save area. I need to save in a safe area. One moment. Okay, so start. Left. Save. Let me just save real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'll edit my, I'll edit my thumbnail and stuff afterwards. Click that and then press A on my controller to quit. Alright, I'll be right back.